Good morning. We just want to make sure that all of our FIT team members uh, know how to properly check kids in for Children's Church on Sunday morning. So we are doing this quick video just to show you all the different things um, in case you can't find Kyler or myself uh, when you need to serve. So each check-in kiosk, the one being here in the foyer and the other one being over in the dome, um, has a couple different things that we want to make sure you're aware of. The first being the main computer. That's where all of our regular attending um, guests are going to check in. In the foyer, there's one computer, and over in the dome, there are two. Um, you're also going to see a sign that has um, all the classes' names, um, the age breakdown, as well as where they're located. And then below that, you're also going to see a map um, so you can help know where to direct people. At each kiosk station, you're also going to see um, the same map that you can hand out to new families. You're going to see um, children, ministry, family information cards. And then down below at each kiosk, you should also see some first-time visitors packets as well as a backup check-in system if the internet were to go down. Now that you know where everything is located in the kiosks, what should Sunday morning look like? Well, as a member of the FIT team, our job is to greet people as they come in, um, and that includes both our regular attenders and our first-time guests. Um, so while you're here, just be greeting all of the families um, and pay particular attention to the children as they're coming in. Um, that speaks volumes to a parent for you to bend down and talk to their child um, rather than just speaking to the adults. So um, be, make sure that you're greeting everyone as they're coming in. Uh, like I said, your regular attendees should know how to um, go right onto the computer and get themselves checked in. Just keep your eye on them in case something would go wrong or the printer would run out of paper or something would happen. Um, you can just kind of be near the uh, computer in order to assist and greet and welcome them. Um, the second main job that you'll have is to kind of hold on to this iPad and to keep your eye out for first time guests. Um, first time guests usually either come in wide eyed and looking like they need help or they try to come in and act like they know what they're doing and they'll step up to the computer and then kind of fumble. So just keep your eyes out um, for first time guests and just greet them and welcome them um, and let them know that you're going to go ahead and check them in on the iPad today as opposed to this computer. And we do that, um, we check them in on the iPad so that the rest of the families can continue checking in smoothly and it's also going to be more personable for them for their first time here to have um, an actual person checking them in rather than just trying to figure out the computer on their own. So when we check in a first time guest, um, we are going to try to step away from the computer a little bit. So whenever you have um, a first time guest, you're going to ask them um, their child's name. So if I were checking in a child named Susan, I would then type Susan into my search bar. I'm going to hit search um, and it says Susan is nowhere to be found, but don't fret. You're going to click the add person button um, and you have three choices, add to a new household, add to an existing household or create a temporary one time guest. We are going to, um, for all first time visitors, we're going to create a temporary one time guest. This is the fastest way to do it, um, but it also allows us to take the least amount of information from them, um, which we found first time guests often are a little hesitant to, to give everything away. So you're gonna tap on create temporary first time guest, um, and then I'm going to put in the last name for the child. So we'll say that this is Susan Smith. You want to ask the parent if there's any medical notes that you should be aware of. This would be any allergies or asthma or anything like that. Um, so we're going to say that this child has a peanut allergy and you would just go ahead and type that right in. And then emergency contact, we just need the name of the person that's checking them in and their phone number um, in case there was a problem. So we'll say that mom is checking them in, you would actually put mom's name. Um, and their phone number is 444-44444. And you're going to click next. Um, and it's going to ask what classroom that they want to be checked into. So at this point, you would ask the parent uh, what age they are. Um, and let's say that Susan Smith is going to be a kindergartner, so she's going to get checked into our Reads classroom. She's already selected as a guest, um, and the time is there, so you're going to click Prepare Check-In. If um, the Smith family had any more children with them, we would click Add Guest again up at the top right-hand corner um, and check in all of their children in the same manner. Once everybody is checked in, you're going to click the check in one person button. Um, it'll tell you that check ins were successful. And even though you use the iPad, um, the printer will be printing out. You can hear it. The printer will be printing out that family sticker. So then you would walk over to the printer, get their stickers, um, and get them directed uh, to the correct classroom. Regular attending families know to come up to the computers and type in their family name in the um, search bar that you see at the top. So if I was searching for my family, I would type in Gearheart, I would hit the search button, 
and my family is going to come up um, on the screen. In order to check the people in, if they're highlighted in a lighter color, when they hit check in um, however many people, it will check in everybody's name who is highlighted. So for me on Sunday mornings, I'm typically checking in myself and both girls. Um, everybody's highlighted. Um, and so we would click the check in three people button and then all of our stickers would print out out of the printer um, on this uh, computer kiosk. If for some reason Cora were not here or Rowan were not here, um, I would just click on their name um, and that would on highlight that, that family member um, so I would not need to check them in. If for some reason um, a child's getting checked into the wrong class, um, all you need to do is click on that child's name um, and then you can choose one of the other locations. You would see this problem um, most often happen for kids that are kind of between that toddler and preschool age. Um, because we split them developmentally, they may need to get checked into a different class. So for Rowan, um, she actually does get checked into the preschool class now. Um, so I would click on Sprouts um, and then prepare check-in and that would change her um, to the correct classroom. Once they print out their stickers, um, there is a sticker that goes on each child as well as um, a sticker for the parent. If the child is um, in the nursery or toddler room, um, a, a second sticker should print out for each child so that they have one to place on their diaper bag as well. All right, um, so far our computer system has been working really well, but there is always the possibility that the internet would go out um, and because our computer system is internet based. If the internet were to be out, um, our online check-in system is not going to work. Um, so we do have an old fashioned backup um, clipboard underneath each kiosk. Um, and in order to do this, all you're going to do is have the parent fill in the child's name, parent name, phone number, allergies or notes. We will make a sticker with the child's name on it. And then you are going to give the parent the green card that matches the number on the line that they checked them in. So if I were checking Rowan in on the first line, I would get parent pickup number 101 for Rowan. I would get parent pickup number 102 for Cora. Um, and then you would explain to the parent, our computer systems are down. Um, this is our backup system today. Um, when you go to pick Rowan up from class today, you're gonna need to give your teacher card 101 so that they know you're the correct parent. Um, we are hopeful that we won't need to use these, but they are there. Um, should the computer system be running really slow or not work, just go ahead and grab this clipboard and just continue with check-in. Um, and then one of the, myself or Kyler, or someone will be around and we will get copies to all of the classroom teachers. So that is our backup check-in system um, for Children's Church. So for our first time guests, because we do have an unusual campus layout, um, it's kind of tricky to tell them where to go. So ideally, um, you will find another leader um, or a family that attends regularly that could help take them to their different classes. Um, it's not uncommon for us to hear from first time guests comments like, if I knew it was gonna take this long or I had to walk all the way across campus, um, I would have been here earlier, I feel like I'm missing church, or I don't wanna take them that far across campus, um, so they're just gonna stay with me. Um, so try to, to um, help get them to their correct classes as gently and as kindly as you can. Um, one way to do that is, again, to give them a map um, and circle or mark where their, their children need to go. Um, but primarily, if you can find um, someone that, that knows where they need to be, that personal touch is a little bit better um, to get them across campus. The other thing that we want to do for all of our first-time guests um, is to give them one of these cards. Right now they're purple, um, but we'll just use whatever color cardstock we have upstairs um, and after you check them in on the, the iPad let them know that you did check them in as just a first-time guest meaning that we did not we will not be saving any of their information on our computer um, and if they do think that they'll be returning with us to go ahead and fill out one of these purple ch um, family cards with all of their detailed information and then we will put them in our computer system during the week so they can go ahead and just fill this out and place it in the offering basket Additionally, for our first time guests, um, we are going to start keeping um, visitors packets underneath the kiosk um, and because you typically would be the first person that will get to talk to them, um, we ask that you give them a first time visitors packet. Um, so it's a great way to say if your family, um, if you think you're going to join us again, I'm going to go ahead and tuck this um, information card in your uh, visitors packet and if you just want to fill that out and drop it in the offering basket, we will get your family checked in. Um, and then you can just say this is a little gift for you, um, let's get your kids where they need to be and then you can enjoy the service. So that would be for all of our first time guests. Okay. So I think that is everything that you need to know to be able to check people in um, well. Uh, for, 
first and foremost, just be friendly um, and kind, and we want to be informed. Um, we are kind of the first people that are getting to interact with families, so we want to make sure that we know um, where we're sending them and what we're telling them. Um, so please make sure you watch this video before you serve, uh, maybe as a refresher, and then also get here a few minutes early and go ahead and play around on the computer um, and just make sure that you know how to do everything and don't hesitate to ask uh, myself or Kyler, uh, Kayla Coble, um, or other people on the FIT team if you need any help. Uh, with check-in. We want to make a good first impression for families um, so that they know that their kids are well cared for um, and well taken care of while they enjoy the main service. Thanks!